Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Aaron the Schizophrenic. Um, just like I said earlier, I was going to make another video. Hope y'all had a good weekend. It's Sunday here. Um, so, I'm just chilling. Got to work in the morning. Uh, had a pretty good weekend. My OCD wasn't that bad. My anxiety wasn't bad. So, I did pretty good this weekend. So, thank you for that. Okay, this video, uh, like I said all the time, go like it. Go subscribe. Uh, go share my videos. If you see one that really, you know, I think it helps somebody, send it to them. Like the hallucinations or just anything. I don't know if I've talked about my depression yet. Uh, maybe next time I'll do something about that. Um, but yeah, like I said, go like it. Go subscribe to me. And if you want to leave comments, leave comments. I love to read you guys. And I'll always comment back and stuff like that. Um, so you guys go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. This video is going to be, I'm going to be talking about my kid's mom. A.K.A. my baby mama, A.K.A. Sandy. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to start. When we first met, we were like really, really in love. She cared about me a lot. I cared about her a lot. Um, we were always together. Like I would get off of work and go straight to her house and pick her up and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, we was really in love and happy when we first got together. And then we had Damien. We were still happy. Uh, we argued a little bit. And then when Ariana was born, we were really happy. And so, uh, for a while there, she was pretty much all that I had. I didn't have no other family. Like I said, I don't have cousins. I got one brother. I really don't have, you know, family and friends and stuff like that. And so she was there for me. And um, I even, she was the first person I told that I thought I had schizophrenia. And we just that day cried and talked about it. But it was sad because she was there for me a lot. Uh Oh, God, good. That's like the third time I've yawned so far. It's only been three minutes. Um, but, yeah, she was really there for me. She was. She did a good job of being there for me and stuff like that. But then as time went on... Uh, but then as time went on, things got worse. Uh, we started arguing more, and um, like with all the good stuff and all the good memories is before her mom, her grandma, and dad died, and now I'm about to tell you about all the bad stuff, and this is what happened after her grandma and dad died. Uh, um, because we were really close and cool when her parent, when her grandparents, grandma and dad were still around after they died. She just, I don't know if she gave up or just something happened to her or what. But uh, that's how she was. And she was so bad. Um, she stressed me out really bad. Uh, I had these anxiety bumps on my arm. And those are mostly from... When me and her were together. Ugh, Cause um. She would treat me really bad. And argue at me. And tell me I was no good. And just put me down. And keep me down. And stuff like that. And it really stressed me out. <clears throat> Cause I like. Uh, for instance. If she had a bad day at work. Um, if she had a bad day at work she would come home and take it out on me. And I and it was like a, 
a three, four, five time a week. No, I say about four times a week thing. And so for years she would do that and we just drifted apart and eventually I just, she left and I didn't ask her to come back. I was kind of glad she was gone. Uh, uh, let's see what else. How she used to party. Uh, how she used, she used to party. She was a party <clears throat> chick. She always had to go hang out with her friends and do stuff with them and never spend time with me and the kids, but she was always with her friends and stuff. That's and so that's bothered me and my kids, you know, like that's pretty fucked up. But that's it's okay. Weird. Um oh, uh, there's, now I will say this, even though she's not good to me, she's been through a lot and she was there for me, like I said. So part of me will always care about it. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm sleepy. I'm going to bed early today. Oh, she, she uh, yeah, she, yeah, I always have, I don't love her, I'm not in love with her, like stalk her or nothing like that, but like I said, I care about it, someone put their hands on her, I probably would have to do something about that, like y'all don't put hands on people, so that's about it, um, how she used to treat me for, and then this, uh, she oh, treats yeah. my kids, She's not the best mom to them either. She treats them kind of bad sometimes. Like, uh, if she gets mad at them, she'll yell at them and talk crazy to them like they're another adult or they're teenagers or something and they're young. They're 10 and 11 years old. And so they be, uh, they get stressed out over it. And I've had to take my daughter to a therapist because of it. Um, but she's okay. She's okay now. Um, as you can see, she's okay. I keep the kind of orange. Not now. <laughs> but yeah, she does treat the kids pretty yeah. bad sometimes. Uh, she cheated on me. Then she, che okay, she cheated on me with the dude. Baby. Broke up with me and left me for him and then had a baby with the dude. After she told me she didn't want no more kids. So that was like fucked up. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I feel like I kind of owe him an ass whooping. If y'all think I owe him an ass whooping, give me 10 likes and I'll whoop his ass on camera for y'all. Nah, I'm just playing. I will, he does. He is old an ass whooping now. You don't know. So I don't be taking girls. I only mess with single girls. I don't mess with girls in relationships. That's fucked up. Why are you gonna do all that mess up happy shit? Um, now this might be a little strange, but it's the truth. Uh, she was abusive, very abusive. Uh, she used to verbally abuse me and physically abuse me. She used to hit me. Uh, a few times she punched me in the back so hard that her knuckles were bruised. Um, yeah, she was really abusive. She tried to fight me even to this day. The dog still gets perked up when somebody starts yelling because I guess she got traumatized by my baby mama too. But yeah, it was yeah, it was an abusive weapon. I mean, sorry, that was an abusive. Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, I would never go through that stuff again, you because know, I know the sounds. Uh, she used to fight me in front of the kids. She actually knocked my son Damien down while I was trying to get to me, and knocked him down. Uh, like. It's just crazy. Like, oh, and then another thing. It's the last one. She uh tell like when the kids were living with her, uh, she told she told them to lie to me about stupid stuff like if they were moving somewhere else or just any little stupid petty stuff they would do. And I have them lie to me now, and my kids don't lie to me. That's why I trust them because they don't lie to me. So I know, you know. Well, yeah, that, that's pretty much about my baby mama, y'all. If y'all got any other questions, um, if you got any other questions about her, 
write them on there and I'll add, answer them for you guys. Um, go, like I said, go like my videos, go subscribe. This is the second one that I did today. Uh, yeah, and another thing, you guys give me ideas for videos. I be needing ideas for videos, such as something you guys want me to talk about or a video you want me to do. Uh, I've had a request of uh, doing a cooking video, yeah. so I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, stuff. It's lots of stuff I could do. Yeah. Uh, I could make a video of one of my raps if you want. It's all kind of stuff. Um, like I said, go subscribe, go like, go share. Uh, go view my videos. Get I want y'all to get me up to a thousand views. I want a thousand subscribers. All that stuff. I want to touch as many people as I can. Uh, I don't want nobody out there, you know, feeling like they're all alone because you're not all alone. As long as I'm out here and you know me, you're not alone. So uh, you guys have a good rest of the weekend. Have a good night. Uh, Y'all be safe out there, and that's it. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Deuces.